What is up good people? Welcome back to the Sinusoidal Music channel. It's me Prince Charizard. I've got a really cool track for you guys again this week. We're listening to a rap song this time. And if you're having some difficulty navigating the emotions related to what's happening around you, it could be I don't know, it could be work, it could be something in your personal life. I think this track is going to help you feel those feelings and maybe express those things better. So this track is called Lost. The artist is Lil Zib, who is an American rapper. He's based out of Chicago. He's very lyrical with his style and the kind of things which he raps about is really cool. It's the stuff that normal people would probably face in their day-to-day -day lives and I think he kind of gives a voice to those tiny interactions and those tiny feelings which we take away from life and I think that's a really beautiful thing which he does. But I think that's enough said for now. Let's listen to the track and then break things down a little bit more. All right, so that was the establishing scene of our song. I like to make that analogy, like establishing scene from a film and the intro of a song. And uh, in this establishing scene, we get to know that the song is about feeling a little lost. But the lyrics here are quite powerful. One of the things I want to highlight just in this first verse is this one line which goes, things hit deep and pain ain't cheap. I think that's a very interesting way to express that pain, even though the stimulus of the pain can be different, right? You could, even if you're like really, say you're a really rich person and you're talking to a friend of yours who's not as well off as you are. The kind of pains that you get, like your issues, like your problems would be very different to the kind of problems that the other person has. But that thing which is causing the problem is still going to hit deep, right? It's still going to feel very real. It's like you can't ever fully be pain free. So even though the stimulus of the pain in this reality may be different for different people, it's still acting on each of us at a personal level. And that's something which is very, very tricky to communicate with each other. So I think this is a very great establishing scene for us to just be placed in this vibe of, you know, maybe you're feeling lost. And that's what the entire lyrical picture that's being told to us is doing. It's kind of placing us in this sort of emotion, priming us for what's coming. Let's continue listening to the track. Don't know where my mind won't come rescue me. I lost this sea flow deep with both my eyes closed. Is a proud word I toast to. Lost and I'm tired. Wild when the cows walk in. Wild if I heart don't trip. And the twine between the time where the time don't end. Hey, and I don't know how I'm split. Ever wonder why there never really came no trend. Never really stayed on 10. With the tank on full, trying to make more sense. And the shine down here, no lie. Every same face, wave goodbye. Though the day ain't get no sleep. When the same things cross my mind. And they say they don't believe. Yeah, but they ain't no much about that. When escape is all I need. Yeah, just in case I wave goodbye. But the clouds don't feel too safe. It's where the government of them go. I'm off on the way. Gone from the pain. I'm told everywhere I go. Oh man, that is so soulful. I think this song is one of those tracks which goes really hard but at the same time you're just feeling so much if you're just going with the lyrics. So we could sit and dissect you know each line of from the lyric one by one but I think what would be more interesting to talk about in this song is just the fact that creating music or creating art rather about negative emotions is such a powerful thing. The fact that we as humans like to express through pain and we like to express our pain is a core element of this shared experience that we have, right? Like it could be something as easy as you stubbing your toe, but if you don't speak up about it, no one's gonna know. Oh man, I gotta stop rhyming so casually. 
and there's a certain power there's a certain raw energy which comes from just expressing yourself right and when you're doing that with respect to things where you're feeling low about or you're feeling slightly down about it maybe affecting you in a negative way i think that is a very powerful niche of art which helps a lot of people because a lot of us are able to resonate with the words or the the pictures the visuals or whatever the art may be talking about i think it helps us in in a way that it heals us and this kind of messaging is there throughout this song let's talk about one line over here i'm going to use a couple of examples there's a prob when the odds so slim that's just like me expressing how life is just so challenging for me and that's done in such a super dope way that's something which we're going to talk about a little bit later but lil zib is lyrically super cool with what he's saying right and that's what also makes the art powerful cuz you're not sitting and um, complaining about it you're not feeling low about it but you're doing it from a place of providing raw energy and raw expression into what it is that you're feeling so there's a prob with the also slim is talking about that's hey it's a problem that everything feels like it's stacked against me right and that's a very difficult feeling to navigate i i mean personally i've had a pretty crappy week so listening to this song has really helped me through it because like even the album art you can see is just a compass which i think is super apt for this song cuz sometimes you just feel lost and you're not able to navigate the things that are happening around you and that's totally okay that's something which is normal that's something which all of us as human beings face and i think lil zip providing a voice to that emotion is very very invaluable another line which i think is really cool and i want to highlight over here is well they say they don't believe but they don't know much about i and this is a thing about perspective which i was hinting at earlier that you may not see the pain of another person because to you it may feel like hey your problem isn't that big but you don't know much about that person you don't know much about the experience that the person is having and that makes a world of difference there's one saying that we have here in india it goes something like pyar baatne se badh jata hai aur dukhi baatne se ghat jati hai so let me translate that it basically goes when you share your joy your joy increases and when you share your sorrow that sorrow becomes lesser and this saying is just to kind of give a glimpse to anybody that share communicate and express because there is such a big power in just doing that you may not even see it it's not about making the best thing ever but there is so much power in expression and of course there's still that balance to be attained between being killer and kick ass at your art and still expressing in such a raw and like a just pure manner right whatever you're feeling you're just going out and putting that energy into your art I want to talk about how good his flow is over here. I think this is a great lesson in rap delivery for us. So Lil Zip, if you listen to one thing which really stood out to me right from the first line is how good the delivery is and how well he is accented his beat. So accents and rapping is basically when you're rapping to the beat which I think Lil Zip has nailed it again. It's when you would put the right stress on the right words. by this i mean that when the when you have a drum beat right which you're rapping to so it would go like bass and snare which are the strong beats is easy way to understand that is just like it's like a loud beat right it's it's grabbing your attention it's like dup and tak and there are the the weaker beats relatively weaker beats in between which are generally the hi hats so you have to stress the words you're saying on the strong beats which is the bass and the snare and that is so amazingly done in this track I think that's a really cool lesson to take from Lil Zib on this song. So that was our time for today. I'm going to leave a lot of links to Tasey as well as Lil Zib in the description below. You guys should go check them out. They have a lot of other really cool tracks. And by the way, there's a lot more to go of this song. There is however a playlist which we have created and this is actually the first song. It's a hip hop playlist. You can check that out over here. I'll link to it so you can check out this song and a couple of other bangers which would be like this song. And if you want to see a little bit more of me and all of my thoughts and takes on all the beautiful music out there consider subscribing to the channel it's going to help us out a lot I'm going to see you in the next video this is Prince Charizard for Sinusoidal Music signing off